Hi guys and welcome to Quinton's Guitar Corner and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to play an arpeggio sequence that alternates between groupings of four and five. Um, there are tabs below that are free that you can basically download and uh, without further ado let's get right into it. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to play this lick and if you could just take a quick second to make sure you hit that subscribe button below, it um, really does help me out a lot. So basically what we start with here is we start with the ninth fret on the A string and the ninth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string. Hammer on to 11 on the G string. Then you hit the 9th fret on the B string. And that's your first group of 5. 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to start the next group of 4 which is seven on the G string. Hammer on to 11th fret on the G string. Ninth fret on the B. And then seventh fret on the high E string. So, the group of five first, then, have, then the group of four, and then another group of four, which is 11th fret on the G, 9th fret on the B, 7th fret on the high E string, and then 10th fret on the high E string. Don't worry about fingering for now. For now, I'm just literally talking about the frets themselves. So, like I said, you do a group of five, then a group of four, and then a group of four again. So you start, let's do that one more time slowly. And then a group of three before you begin the descending sequence. And the group of three is nine on the B string, set seven on the E string, and 10 on the high E string as well. So the group of five, the group of four, the next group of four, and then group of three. And then in terms of the actual pattern for the picking, what you want is you want to sweep down the first three notes, hammer on, and then downstroke on the B. When you hit the B, you hit another downstroke. So you sweep down, So that next sweep, that next sequence is swept down. Group of four. And in this case, you're not necessarily um, like picking all of the notes. You could, but 
if you want more of that kind of flowy, fluid feel, you want to hammer on when you get from the seventh fret on the G string to the eleventh fret on the G. And you pick the last two notes, the nine and the ten. The nine and the seven, I mean. Those are all swept down, so down, 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 and then once you hit the tenth fret, that's an upstroke. So in terms of the descending pattern, you're going to be doing groups of four sweeping backwards with some pull-offs um, during this descending passage. So you start from once you hit the last group of three on the tenth fret on the high E string with an upstroke, I might add. Then you then hit a downstroke on the fourteenth fret on the high E string and you pull off to the 10th fret and then you sweep backwards on the 12th on the B string and the 14th fret on the G string then pull off to the 11th fret on the G string And once you've done that, you begin the next sequence, which is 14 on the B string and pull off back to 10 with a downstroke, starting the, the note with a downstroke. Sweep back to 12 and then 14 on the D string and pull off and then once you get to the G string on the descending pattern you start on the 14th fret again with a downstroke pull off to 11 now and then back sweep back to 12 on the D string and then 14th fret on the A string and then 14th on the D string with the downstroke, pull off to 11th fret, then on the D string, and then you slide back again to the 12th fret on the, on the low A string. And then you, hit, you sweep back to the 14th fret on the low E as well. And then you pull off the 10th fret. So that's a lot that I basically just said there, but in context, really, really slowly, what you end up with is... Now, the ascending pattern to that is literally the reverse. It's just the complete opposite of that descending pattern. Same frets, so let's, but instead you are doing hammer-ons and a combination of sweeps to essentially execute the arpeggio. So you start on the 10th fret, hammer on to the 14th, then sweep 12 on the A string, then 11 on the D string, and then hammer on to 14th fret on the D. And using the same fret combinations, move it one string up. So. Move it. And what, remember, once you get to the D string, you want to start on the 11th fret on the D and hammer on to the 14th. Then go to 12 on the G string, then 10, 14 on the B string. Hammer on from 10 to 14. And 
and then hammer on 11 to 14th fret on the G string, sweep to 12. on the B string and then sweep down to the 10th fret on the high E string and then the 14th fret on the high E string. So in context, what we have from the ascending lick is So the descending and ascending pattern in groups of four. Again. Now here's the full sequence. And thanks for watching guys. Feel free to like, share and subscribe to this channel. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and now Twitch with live streams that happen on a weekly basis. Um, you can download the tabs here for free below. And with that, I wish you guys an amazing week and see you guys very soon.